I'm Dr. Andrea Dean, and this is the last of the five-part CE certified TikTok activity on anemia and low-risk MDS for MLI. Up next, how to develop long-term individualized care plans for patients. To begin, I would like to share a case. About four years ago, I had a patient with low-risk MDS and ring sideroblast that was transfusion dependent. I initially started him on an erythropoietin agent. I then switched him over to azacitidine due to no response. After several weeks of therapy, he returned to clinic for a follow-up visit with me. I was excited for him. He was no longer needing blood transfusions, but despite this good news, I can sense that he was troubled. He shared with me that he was the sole caregiver for a family member at home, making it hard for him to keep up with his frequent chemotherapy appointments. He then asked if he could try this new medication called Lispetercept, which is given every three weeks. That day, I switched his treatment, he remained transfusion independent, and his appointments could be stretched out every six to 12 weeks, which made him happy. This case drives home the importance of why patients should be a part of the treatment decision-making process. Therapy should align with patients' preferences, goals, and values to ensure the best optimal care. Additionally, when creating treatment plans, you should consider health inequities, social determinants of health, and mental well-being. You should ask patients questions such as, do you have good social support? Do you have transportation to appointments? Do you have money for gas, parking, and food? Are you experiencing anxiety or depression due to your cancer diagnosis? Addressing any issues uncovered improve treatment adherence and allow you to build a care team consisting of a social worker, psychologist, or any other necessary professional. Patients diagnosed with anemia and low-risk MDS require long-term follow-up with hematology. You should assess for response to therapy, review medication side effects, and monitor for disease progression at each visit. Typically, patients have appointments every one to six months depending on the severity of cytopenias and treatment regimen. Many patients remain on therapy as long as they're responding and experiencing little to no side effects. In addition to a hematologist, patients should continue to follow up with their primary care providers to receive treatment for any chronic medical conditions, age-appropriate cancer screening, and immunizations. Thanks for watching. If you've seen all five parts of this TikTok activity series, you can collect CE credit. If you haven't seen all five videos, I've tagged MLI education page, head over there to watch the rest of the series.